Welcome to Science Gal Aquatics, I'm Carrie, and in today's video, well today I finally have my first sponge filter, and I think I have just the tank to put it in, so stay tuned. Welcome to Science Gal Aquatics, your place for guppy love and more. Sharing the good, the bad, and the unexpected adventures of fish keeping, let the show start in 3, 2, 1. Enjoy! So I did get a subscription to my aquarium box from my family for Christmas and I absolutely recommend this service. I really enjoy getting a mystery box of aquarium goodies in the mail each month. It's absolutely amazing. And it was in January, I received my first box containing my very first sponge filter. And I don't really have any reasons why I've never set one up before. I've just always kept to what I know, which is more hang on the backs, but I am excited to finally have one and get one set up. I am gonna put it in this 20 long right here behind me. There's a bunch of red tiger inlers in there and some Neo Caradina shrimp, mainly yellow, but there's some red ones in there too. So I'm excited to finally get this sponge filter opened, get things set up, take you along for the journey and we'll see how it goes. So let's go. First, let's check in on this 20 long inler slash shrimp tank, then we'll jump right into checking out that sponge filter. Just to let you know, it's only been four days since the last water change. I am going to go ahead and do a super quick water change, about five gallons. I need the old aquarium water and I'll explain why in just a moment. Quickly, just running through the parts, there is a clear tube that the airline will go through, a cap that the airline will attach to, of course, the sponge that makes up your sponge filter, in the side of that, there is a stem, and then lastly, there is the base. I did want this aquarium water so I could give everything a complete rinse before setting everything up officially for the first time. I thought it was best to go ahead and use the water from the tank that the sponge filter is going into. But again, I just broke everything down, gave it a good rinse, and then put everything back together. From what I understand, you connect sponge filters by either using a small power head or an air pump. And since I already have an air stone and air pump connected to this 20 long, I feel like that's the best direction to go with. But let me know down below, leave a comment, what works best for your sponge filters? Then it was finally time to go ahead and connect and set up my first sponge filter. And again, all I simply did was remove the original air stone that was in this 20 long. 
use that air line to thread through the clear pipe and then connect at the cap of the sponge filter. Then I gave everything a good couple of squeezes and then it was just time to refill the aquarium. This is the new attachment that I have on the other end of my pump for my water changes and it is super nice because I am able to speed it up or slow it down. This is actually my least favorite part. I am actually quite scared that I'm going to accidentally lose a bunch of shrimplets when removing all of this hair algae. But you know what would drastically help? Being more consistent with turning off the light. I also finally decided to buy a proper lid for this aquarium. Again, I am in no way a sponge filter expert, but from what I understand, many people do have better luck with the coarser, more porous sponges with slightly larger holes over these finer sponges that do seem to get clogged more often. Again, from what I understand, but I do invite you to go ahead and leave your thoughts and tips down below in the comments. I thought it would be a good idea and go ahead and share with you some new food that did come in the most recent aquarium box, Fancy Guppy by Hakari, and give you a first look to see how the guppies like it. Make sure you subscribe to Science Gal Aquatics and that bell notification is clicked because how to maintain your sponge filter is coming soon and you'll want to be notified. But until next time, I'll see you in the comments. Thanks for watching. Enjoy!